Hi, it's the Gynae Geek here. Today I'm going to be talking about cervical screening or smear testing and explaining what happens to your sample once it's been taken. Cervical screening means taking a small number of cells from the cervix, which is the neck of the womb, and it's found at the top of the vagina. When we do a smear test, we're looking at the cervix end-on, so it looks like this little donut here in the centre of the page. We use a smear pot which contains some preservative fluid and we use a smear brush to collect cells from the cervix. The brush has very, got very soft bristles and these exfoliate the cells when we rotate the brush in the centre of the cervix to collect the cells that we want to look at. We put those cells into the smear pot and send it to the lab. When it gets to the lab, we take a small amount of this preservative and put it onto a microscope slide. This slide is then stained with some dyes so that we can look at the different kinds of cells that are present under the microscope. When we look under the microscope, we're looking at the type of cells that are present and we're looking for normal cervical cells to start with. And these are shown here. They're very round and uniform in shape and they contain a very nice small neat nucleus which is a little dot in the middle. When we're looking for abnormal cells, we're looking to see if there are any cells that have changed in shape or size or have a different um, abnormal looking nucleus, which is the purple bit that I'm drawing in the center of the cells. When we describe abnormal cells, we either describe them as borderline changes, mild changes, or moderate, severe, and in a small number, cancerous changes. If you have the latter three, moderate, severe, or cancerous, you need to come to colposcopy so we can directly look at the neck of the womb. If you have borderline or mild changes, we do an HPV test, and if it's positive, you come to colposcopy. In 2015 to 16, 95% of women had normal smear. 2% have borderline and mild changes, 0.5 and 0.6 moderate and severe. Less than 1 in 10,000 women have cancerous changes, so it's really incredibly rare.